welcome back to our youtube channel and today we are going to see the 3342 problem find minimum time to reach last room second this problem is in weekly contest 422 and we have already seen the problem part one of this so it's a similar kind of problem with some tweaks okay so let's read the statement so there is a dungeon with n and m rooms arranged as a grid perfect so now we are given a 2d array move time of size n cross m where move time ij represents the minimum time in seconds where you can start moving to that room this is the highlight point start moving okay so you start from room 0 comma 0 at time t equal to 0 and can move to an adjacent room moving between adjacent rooms takes one second for the one move two seconds for the next alternating between the two okay now we need to return the minimum time to reach room n minus 1 to room m minus 1 and two rooms are adjacent if they share a common wall either horizontally or vertically okay so let's see this example first example let's draw the grid first so let's say this is the grid and we have value 0 4 4 4 okay now what is the time we need to reach till this point so we are at this point so till this point we need 5 seconds why 5 seconds before 4 we can't move to this right so at t equal to 4 we can start move to this position then there is a 1 second required to move at this position that's why it is 5 okay so basically t will be 4 plus 1 now we have 4 again that means at t equal to 4 we can move but this is already 5 so that means we don't need to wait for any more seconds we can directly start moving now here is the case like in one move you can wait for like it will take one second and in the next move it will take the two seconds now first move we took only one second now if we directly move it will take one second but this is a second move this is alternate move so we need two seconds to move here so this is the reason why are we getting 5 plus 2 that is 7 this is 7 this is the reason let's say if let's say if we introduce one more row okay one more row and keep it value like uh, here it is 5 or 5 so now now we need to reach here till this point right now we have already taken 7 seconds of time that means we don't need to wait first thing we don't need to wait and second thing second thing is like how many seconds we need to we we will require to move from this position to this position it is one because in the first sequence we have taken two second sequence we have to take this and then third second again one so now one second so seven plus one this will be eight this will be eight now if you see this is a position like from starting you need to reach till the end perfect from a start you need to reach till the end and you need minimum time minimum time and if you see the traversal like you can go in four directions obviously like this direction this direction this direction this direction any four directions right that means that is a problem of graph graph you know and mint Min time you know, min time you know, if something these combines, what will be the algorithm we can think of, we can think of the extra, just we need to apply this, if we are able to apply this, we are good and that, that will be the solution of this problem. So what are the requirements of this algorithm, we need priority queue and and the distance array here 
this will not be a distance array it will be a time array so time array right so now we will see this example okay so let's draw this grid again we have 0 4 4 and 4 perfect so now we need what we need we need a priority queue priority queue that will sort on smaller smaller time smaller time is the priority here okay so let's say this is the priority queue now initially let's say we will keep like to reach every position we will keep some maximum time infinite 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 this is the time we need to reach these positions initially but at time t equal to 0 we are at 0 comma 0 so that requires 0 time perfect so we need to update that right so for updating we will update this as 0 now we need one more thing we need move how many moves we took to reach this position so that we can calculate the time to move from this position to this position right so here we'll write so what are the things we have we have one time then row then call then move so initially what is there 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 everything is 0 now we will take out this thing okay so here time will be 0 row will be 0 call will be 0 move will be 0 these are the things okay so now we need to have update this value now we can go in four direction either this direction this direction this direction so how much time we require to reach this position we require five seconds right because this move is zero so we need only one second to move and this is the time at this time we can start moving right so four plus one and 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 is lesser than infinite. So we need to update this value. We need to put this 5. And we can post here 0, 5. Then we reach 0, comma 1, comma 1 move. Now we have taken 1 move. And here also we have a chance to move here, el here also. Because in this direction it is not possible, in this direction it is not possible, this direction we have already traversed, this direction is remaining. Now it will be same because the value are, values are same. So we will push 5 comma 1 comma 0 comma 1 move again. Now we will update this. We will take out this value. So what is this value right now? We are at this. 5, row is 0, column is 1, move is 1. Now, we need to check how many positions we can go. We can go this position or we can go this position or this position. Right. This position, this position, 4 position. Here, we are already coming from here we can't go, here we can't go. This is the only position left which we can go okay so let's calculate the time so time is maximum of whatever time is available this is 5 comma whatever is th this time 4 we have taken the maximum plus if this move this move is 1 that means it is odd it is odd that means here we require 2 amount of time so we will add 2 here, it will be 7, 
now so we will push here so now we have reached like 7 we have values 1 1 and this is 2 2 moves are taken and we are at this point now we have taken this again and we will get the same value like 7 1 1 2 moves now we come again at this position so we will get this so the values are values are 7 this is 1 this is 1 this is 2 now at this position like r equal to 1 c equal to 1 that means b reached till the end b reached till the end now b reached till the end that means we are at our target position now whatever is the time time is 7 return it time is 7 return it okay so this is the thing so let's see our code how we are implementing this so initially the same same as earlier one we need rows calls and the priority queue priority queue will store time row column and move okay and we need directions as well okay and one array time to reach time to reach at this position this is the array I am talking about okay so initially time of 0 comma 0 will be 0 perfect now we will iterate through the priority queue till it's not empty okay we'll get the top element we'll get all the values like time row call moves if it is if it is at the target position that means we are there already already we will return the time if not if not we will try we will try all four directions we will calculate new row new column by default time will be one move time from this cell to this cell time will be one but if it is odd if it is odd that means it is an alternate move now we require two amount of time so move time will be updated with two right now we need to check what we got new row new call is it valid or is it out of bound so for that we need to check it should be greater than or equal to zero less than rows new call should be greater than or equal to zero new call should be less than calls this is the valid condition if it is valid now we will calculate time to move time to move will be the time whatever we have taken till now and whatever is available here okay plus plus this move time move time is one or two one or two either it can be one either it can be two and if this current time is less than the time available earlier like in starting we reach like we have only infinite time to reach there now it comes five that means it is better it is better we will take it so we'll push in the priority queue and we'll also update the time and if there is no path existing we will return minus one but in our case we will never reach here it will be returned by here but we have to return something at the end of the function that's why we are returning minus one so let's talk about the time complexity for this solution okay time complexity like we are trying to iterate all elements perfect so o of n cross m but at some point of time there can be number of elements so we need logarithmic of log n cross m because it will minimize the element and what is the space complexity the space complexity is o of n cross m because that is the space we are using we can check from here like we are time to reach this thing and also the priority queue perfect so this is the straightforward solution and if you like this if you understood the solution like this video subscribe the channel and keep watching let's meet with some other video till then bye bye